Hey everyone, Josh here from Fresh Start Customs, and today we're going to be going over the printable area or the cut area on the Glowforge. Um, so right now, I believe it's like 19.2 by 11.5, something like that, is the actual cut cuttable area. You can look up the actual specs if you need to, but um, in most reality, uh, it's going to be probably 18.5 by 10.5 that's what I try to keep my cuts in between um, sometimes you can get away with further and I'm gonna explain all of that here shortly um, so let's go ahead and get into this I made two real quick designs here um, using my old space coin and then the uh, just fresh start customs laser engraving here um, this top one is 19 inches by 4.5 inches and this bottom one here is 18.5 by 4.3816. Um, the reason why I made them smaller is just to show you this cuttable area and how it can work um, and what you need to look out for. So what I did is I saved this as an SVG file like always and then I just uploaded it straight to the Glowforge UI. So as you can see, um, your cuttable area is anything that is in this black box, not, not the gray area. So if you get your design into this gray area, it's not gonna cut or engrave. But as you can tell right now, I have it on unknown source. So there's not like a material source in there. So the thickness is just set at zero. So what we're gonna, going to do is we're gonna select like medium cherry proof, uh, proof grade material here. When you select that, as you can see, now the only one that's highlighted is this bottom one and the top one's grayed out. So when I highlight both, you can see how this top one is cutting into the non-cuttable area here, um, even though it's 19 inches. So that's supposed to be within the specs. And even if I scoot it all the way over to the edge here, you're still gonna be in the gray, uh, the gray area. So you could scoot it all the way in the edge. I just left it in the center because I know whenever you turn on like the engraving, it's gonna cut off some of this, uh, depending on how big your engraving is, just to show you this. So what you want to do is you want to stay inside the black area, as you can see, like this entire black area, all the way up to here and around. Um, so let's go ahead and show you how you can slow down some engravings to get that uh, larger print. Um, that may help you out with prints that are like right on 19 inches. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to the engraving here. And we're going to go from like an SD graphic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and cut this speed in half here. So I'm going to go down to 500 speed. And then since it's already at full power, I'm going to probably cut it down to 50 power. And you're going to have to play with the settings in order to get this to work. It may not look as deep of an engrave as you want, or it may be too deep. And if it's too deep, you just lower your power. If it's uh, not deep enough, then you can increase the power. But it will take some testing. Um, whenever you're playing with custom settings here. So now that I did that one, we've got this side slower. We're gonna have to do the other side slower since it's right on the edge. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna do the same thing. We're gonna change this to 500. And as you can see over here, it already lit up, but you wanna make sure you change your power too because you don't want it to be super strong in power and then uh, super slow. Then you're gonna just burn a hole or start a fire. So you don't wanna do that. So now that I have those two set, you can see it can actually engrave. Um, this is actually gonna be a score here around the coin area. And then your cut will actually cut now. So if I highlight all this, you can see it's right in this black area now. And then this black area over here pretty much disappeared altogether. So you could actually save a little bit more material, scoot this over and scoot it up to the top left corner if you wanted so you could just drag and bring it up here. Now you can actually save your material. You don't have to cut in the middle. But in this case, obviously there isn't much material to save, but you can still do that if you want to. So that's pretty much it. That's the cut area. Um, now, as an example here, let's say you had a bigger cut line. Like let's say the cut line was to 20 inches. Um, you may actually have this engraving show up, but not the cut line. So let me delete this small one out of the way for right now. And let's increase the size of this to right about there. So as of right now, it's showing that that cut line is, uh, you can't engrave because this is all one pattern. 
So if we set this to ignore, if I set those to ignore, you can see that since it's no longer cutting, it can actually do the engraving still because it's within that black edge there. Even though it's right on the edge, you're still able to do that engraving. So you may think, oh, this is highlighted. I can just print it. We'll be good to go. That's not the case because all it's going to do is it's going to engrave and then it won't cut that area. Um, I don't know if Glowforge recently changed it where you can't print at all if you have those set to uh, cut here or not. But in the past, you could just place it like this. It would engrave this area and then it went and cut out and then people would be wondering why it didn't cut out. So that's a real quick uh, tutorial or overview of the uh, cuttable bed area. I just wanted to show you guys how to do that and what to expect from it.